Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 170. This time what we're going to do is work on calculating the days, hours, minutes, and seconds in pieces. Last time we formatted them. This time what we want to do is show uh, the separate components this way as opposed to in this format way. And then once we know how to do this, we can combine everything in this cell down here. And that's what I want to work on today. I'm going to start at the bottom because that's a little more straightforward. The seconds is simply equals second. And then what I do is I should just subtract B12 minus A12. And Excel takes out the seconds piece of this difference. There is a minute function that does the same thing for minutes. And an hour function that does the same thing for hours. Again, all we're doing is taking the hour difference between B12 and A12. And we're getting three hours of difference between these two because there's two days. The difference is when we get here, look what I'm doing. Instead of having some kind of day function, because the, all the day related functions are dealing with pulling the day of the month, like they pull the, the uh, 27th out of this date or the 29th out of this date. What I need to do here is take the difference between B12 and A12, which we know here is 2.13542. And what I know is that everything to the left of the decimal is going to be the number of days. So I'm going to take that 2 and put it here. And then what the round down function does is instead of rounding and if it's greater than you know, 0.5, it goes up to 1. If it's less than 0.5, it goes down to 0. Round down says I'm always going to round down to the nearest integer. Even if I get 2.99999, I'm going to say, hey, that's still 2 days and 23 hours and 58 minutes or whatever. You always round down to get the number of days. So that's what my formula does. Round down, B12 minus A12. And just like the round function that we're going to talk about more in the future, you say to putting a zero here says I want to round to the nearest integer and that's what I want. I want two days, three hours, 15 minutes, and zero seconds. With this, with these separate components we can combine them using concatenate over here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Remember we can concatenate or stick things together with the and sign. So I'm going to do round down and that's the very same formula that's sitting right here. And I'm going to put days in quotes and put a space on either side of it so that I get a space after the 2, before the D, and after that S in days, and before the 3. So I'm going to do round down and days, and then I'm going to do hour and hours in quotes, and minute, and minutes in quotes, and second and seconds in quotes. And that's how I can put this together. And I can put this in the blog that goes with these videos, so you can watch for the blog there and get that formula if you need it. But by using the combination of hour, minute, second, and round down, we can get the different components of this time difference or this time difference, however you want to look at it, and drop it all into one cell if you need to spell it out for whatever reason or if you only need components of it because of a calculation that you need for OR utilization or for time for your CRNAs or whatever it is that you're looking at. Here's how to get the components or how to put them all together. That's what I wanted to show you about time. Stay tuned. Next time we'll keep going on more Excel functions. Thanks for watching.